Hello YouTube, this is iRizon, and today I went through the nether and added my a whole minecart system. This will show the construction process. That beginning video you see is a huge tunnel I dug under the earth trying to connect one portal exit to the other. And alas, it's just way too big, it's going to take way too long. Um, this, my nether base is already set up like a big path. Um, this room I've put some trees in because I'll need the wood. I have a bunch of iron with me just from making that whole tunnel, but I don't think I show that in this video. Uh, regardless, um, yeah, I've got this all set up nice, nice. The whole outside's kind of hidden, you know, camouflage with all the nether racks on the outside. So I, I have spent a lot of time on this. So now I might as well utilize it. It is on peaceful. I Part of the reason is I do not want to have the game crash. It tends to do that to me when it's all the gas are hanging around. Whatever. I immediately started to put down half stone because I heard, oh, mobs can't spawn on half stone. Well, yeah, you can't place tracks on half stone either, too. It has to be double half stone. That leads me to believe, I should check this out, that half stone, just one half stone, you can't really put anything on. It makes sense, right? It's not really a full block. But I'm willing to bet that double half stone, I'm willing to bet mobs will spawn on that. So I end up stopping this pretty quick, all this whole half stone stuff. Basically, because if you mess up when you chop it, you only get one half stone back, and you're just it's just a waste of stone when I'm using stone all over the place. So I'm going to take this all the way down my path. And it's going to mean boosters, too. And all these stairs I placed, all the nice, nice stairs, all going to get chopped the hell down. And that is a waste of time. It needs to be done, though. You cannot place track on stairs as such. Like I said, half stone you can, but it needs to be two. So you might as well just have normal stone, right? Uh, when you place, if you've never placed your minecarts, too. Yeah, this, you can't place it on glass, either. Uh, but if you've ever placed down uh, my car tracks, um, I lost my train of thought. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it kind of does, but I, it, trust me, it wasn't anything important. Uh, I was just kind of pissed that I had to get rid of that whole glass area and redo it. I wasted a lot of glass doing this from the past, but whatever. I hear I am testing this booster yes and oh, 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 oh no yeah so your minecart's really not gonna like hitting the sides of walls like that so all this all starts to come down it's a whole hell of a lot of work but it needs to be done gotta get it done right and as you can see there's a southwest rule to oh. tracks that come on perpendicular to each other same thing as when you make water elevators same thing as when I make toaster traps there's southwest rules to all this stuff. Who knows if that'll change in the future, if that's just a quirk of the engine or if that's needed. Maybe that's a that's a good way to know if you, when you're underground. I see you have some track with you, what direction's what. So right, so you see that looks a little weird. It's a little counterintuitive, you would think in real life, but this is in real life, this is Minecraft. Um, so when you place it like that, it, it's gonna choose that direction, south or west. Watch Almighty Bob's Minecart tutorials. Booster tutorials and this I had to get rid of uh, the edges here. It seems that the minecarts are a little bit wide, so when you hit these corners, it's gonna slow it down. It's just like you can't have watch out if you're gonna build your stuff in another slow sand will slow it down if it's on the side. And this right here, this is uh, building an uphill booster. These are very useful because they auto reset, don't have to worry about the southwest rule, don't have to worry about those little loops that I was making for the singular one way boosters. Um, it's great because gravity will take you down and this booster will take you up. I stole it, uh, you know, full straight from the Minecraft, or Minecraft wiki, Minepedia. You'll find a, a good picture there and a, you know, seven step tutorial. Thank you to whoever did that, I did not look up your name. You also will need a block to stop your progress at the very end. You just take this out. Boom. All set to go.
that little spot up there is a secret area. But yeah, I'm gonna test this out. Oof, and that is a big boost. Surprising, you know, going uphill, it, the thing gives you quite a kick. And here, this is the full on, the end result. Starts off a little slow, don't worry, we'll get up to speed. See, like I said, I when I first did this nether base, I spent a whole hell of a lot of time. That's double boosters right there. One's on fire, which is awesome. This is all changed. It's all a little bit wider on the corners now. It doesn't seem to matter on the straightaways. And those two double, do double boosters give me enough energy to go really, 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 really far. I don't think I use another booster in this direction at all. Of course, a lot of it's downhill, although I did just go uphill there, but I mean... After this hill, poof, all the rest is downhill in this direction, which is great. And it seems like those squiggly line tracks, uh, when you uh, do the quick back and forth, you seem to maintain a lot of momentum there. You don't seem to lose as much as on normal straight track or a normal, uh, you know, actual curve. It seems to me, I don't know this for sure, that you actually lose way more energy taking a normal turn or a couple of turns rather than having that diagonal squiggly you know you seem to maintain your momentum that way right and stop at the end of the portal and I'm gonna go back in the other direction this booster right here is long enough that it gives you a well gives this minecart enough energy to go really really far. Uh, there's a lot of uphills here, like I said, but it'll handle them no problem. All the way until we get to this uphill booster. I'm not even entirely sure if this that you know this uphill booster is needed now because of that initial first star booster. But I I put it in here as part of the process while I was working. It works. So that's fine. I did go past some slow sand there too. I might have to take that out, although it's not slowing me down. I have enough energy, maintain the momentum to do this whole thing. This area is nice though. I mean, I'm a little mad that I had to take out one side and take glass out of the bottom, but to compensate, I put glass on both sides instead of just one side. This is all open. A little more open now. This part's ugly here. I didn't camouflage that that part. So the one thing I really got to worry about is pigmen. When I turn this back on no normal, if anyone knows any way of getting rid of animals or spawning on your minecart tracks, please let me know. Because I would love to see something. I don't want to have to put water and fire down the side. Whatever. Thanks for watching. It's been I Rise On's minecart in the Nether.